Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at a volumes by slices exercise, uh, which has got a slight problem in that when we rearrange it, we need to take the negative square root. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Um, we can see the the parabola is written as x minus four all squared minus five. So we know that the the vertex. Let's actually mark in the vertex. The vertex obviously would in fact be down here. So let's put the vertex. Obviously, that we know its coordinates would be. Uh, what, 4 and negative 5, okay, so that we know where the vertex is. Where does it cross the, the y-axis? The y-axis, well, the y-axis is here. It crosses the y-axis when x is 0, 16 minus 5, okay, 11. Okay, it's crossing here 11, okay. Now, we're rotating this part of the function around the uh, y-axis. Now, what would it look like? Well, let's actually have a quick look. Okay, so it's going to be looking a bit like some sort of shape like this. Okay, so it's really the area. Let's have a quick look if I can actually get the area. The area in here, this is the area we're going to be rotating around. Okay, this area just in here. Okay, we're going to be rotating that around the, the y-axis. Okay, all right. So how are we going to do this? Well, we know that the formula for the volume is uh, v equals pi integral from a to b. Now, we're going up the y-axis now from minus 5 up to 11. And we want f of y uh, squared dy. Okay, that's pretty standard. Okay, but the problem now is that we need to rearrange this particular equation. So we'd have, uh, let's have a look. y plus 5 is equal to uh, x minus 4 all squared. Okay, then we take. The now we're going to take the uh, square root of both sides and make x a subject. Here we are, x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of y plus 5. Okay, well now we have to try and work out which one do we take, the plus or the minus square root. So we're going to have to try and work out which one of these. Now, we'd normally uh, divide the, the, this parabola into a positive and a negative a half. So if we actually put a line down through. 4, down through the vertex, uh, you'll see that we actually have um, split the parabola into two sections, a positive section, which is on that side, and a negative section on the other side. Okay, so we're going to actually use the negative section, so let's uh, write the formula now, uh, V, okay, um, let's have a look, okay, uh, where's, let's write V equals, uh, okay, pi, from minus 5 to 11. Okay, now this is going to be 4 minus the square root of uh, y plus 5. Now we're going to square the whole lot here, okay, dy. Okay, so what is that squared? Well, 4 squared is 16, and y plus 5 all squared is actually y plus 5. So we now had, um, have uh, 16 plus 5, which would be 21, and then we'd have a 4 and 4 and 8, lots of uh, square root of y plus 5. So let's write this down, okay. Uh, volume equals pi integral from minus 5 to 11. Now that's the 16 and 5, makes the 21. Uh, minus 4, minus 4, minus, minus 8, lots of the square root of y plus 5. And write that to the power of half, okay. And then we just have a y on the end. And then we're going to have to integrate all this with respect to uh, y, okay. Okay, so this is uh, dy on the end. Okay. Okay, well, this is not too bad. Uh, we notice that the 21 will obviously just uh, integrate back to 21y. So the volume is equal to, uh, okay, 21y. Now we have a 8 uh, divided by 3 on 2, so it's um, 16 on 3. Uh, okay, lots of y. Uh, plus 5 to the power of 3 on 2. Okay, and then a y squared on 2. Okay, now we have to uh, evaluate this between uh, minus 5 and 11. This is a bit messy, but uh, if we put in 11, um, we, um, if we just pop that in uh, into the calculator, we end up getting uh, about uh, what the volume is equal to, uh, let's see, it's about uh, minus 49, something so it's Let's have a quick look, put it into the calculator. We end up getting uh, minus uh, 
is 49.83 recurring uh, and you subtract off uh, now when you put the negative 5 in you end up getting negative 92.5 okay so let's write that in negative uh, 92.5 okay and when you do all this um, you'll end up getting that the uh, volume is in fact uh, what, I think 40 uh, is it 42? Uh, let's have a look. 42 and 2 thirds. Let's have a quick look. Okay, volume is uh, 42 and 2 thirds pi units cubed. Okay, well, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, that's all there is for today, and we'll uh, try and uh, do some more examples uh, later on. Well, thank you very much for watching.